the Wallock Way. My name is Emily, and today's video is our ocean morning basket. Let's dive in! For trivia and Mad Libs, we have a weird but true ocean, 300 fantastic facts from the deep blue sea. We love these. They have very random yet thought-provoking facts. They sometimes send us down rabbit trails during Morning Basket, but we like embracing those. And then the Mad Libs that we'll be using are the funny fill-ins My Ocean Adventure. These are by National Geographic Kids, and they're always so much fun to do. For read-alouds, we have Who Was Jacques Cousteau? How to Speak Dolphin? Song for a Whale? And Tales of the Sea? I also have a stack of picture books that we'll be keeping nearby and Emily can choose one a day for us to read from. So we have Starfish, Baby Whales Drink Milk, What Lives in a Shell, Follow the Water from Brook to Ocean, How Deep is the Ocean, Who Eats What, Life in a Coral Reef, Sharks have six senses. What's it like to be a fish? Seashells more than a home. All about mollusks, a guide for children. About habitats, oceans. Oceans, animals, habitats for kids. Save the sharks. Save the ocean. Real life monsters, creatures of the deep. Who would win ultimate shark rumble? Who would win ultimate ocean rumble? Flying deep, climb inside, deep sea submersible. And then the rest of these are picture book biographies. I'm a bit obsessed with them. I have a lot of unit studies that are freebies for these, so make sure you check that out. Manfish, a story of Jacques Cousteau. Shark Lady, the true story of how Eugenie Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. Swimming with Sharks, the daring discoveries of Eugenie Clark. Ocean Speaks, how Marie Thorpe revealed the ocean's biggest secret. Secrets of the Sea, the story of Jean Power, revolutionary marine scientist. Life in the Ocean, the story of oceanographer Sylvia Earle. The Fantastic Undersea Life of Jacques Cousteau, and Solving the Undersea Puzzle, Marie Thorpe Maps the Ocean. For hands-on things for her to do while I'm reading aloud, we have these Play-Doh mats, which are included with the Ocean Unit Study. So these will all be laminated, and they will just be in an envelope for her to be able to use as she wishes. The ocean pattern blocks that are also included in the ocean unit study. She has the color ones or the black and white, and there's all different kinds of sea creatures. So she can use those as she wishes. The paint by sticker kids under the sea. This is one of our favorite. You get the stickers from the back and they have numbers on them. And then you match them up by number. And then we have the Usborne Under the Sea Mazes. We also have these plus plus block tubes. One is a sea turtle and the other is a dolphin. So she'll have the opportunity to build both of those. And then we have a few puzzles. We have this one, which is actually three different puzzles, Depths of the Ocean. It's a mud puppy. Each puzzle is 100 pieces. So you get deeper each time you build one of the puzzles. This is the Usborne Book and Jigsaw Puzzle Under the Sea. And then Kevin and Emily absolutely love these. This is a Build the Shark. You will, well they will build a two and a half foot great white. This is one of those things that if I know morning time is probably the only thing we're gonna get done, we pull this out and her and Kevin will do this while I just kind of have a marathon reading day. We always save these for those. And then last but definitely not least, we have our games. So we have Top Trump, which is the scariest shark? 
So it has all of these different sharks that we will get to learn about as we're playing the game. And then we also have the top trump creatures of the deep. So again, all of these different creatures that are found in the deep ocean. Next we have Chomp, which is a fun game about the ocean food chain. So you have like the krill and the shrimp and the fish, and then there's sharks in here. It's kind of like a war game, but it's based off of the food chain. Go Poop. They have these in a lot of different ones. This happens to be the Go Poop Ocean. So it's kind of like a Go Fish game, but it talks about the different animals. It shows you what their poop looks like, and it tells you a little bit about their poop. It's a hilarious game, but there's actually educational value in it. Um, so this one says, well, poop is extremely earth friendly and necessary for a healthy environment. So you can indulge your kids sense of bathroom humor while also learning and playing a game. Then we have the Ocean Brain Buster, which is just some ocean trivia. We like to ask these questions and just kind of play and see who can remember the most. And then last but not least, because it is definitely one of our favorites, is Professor Noggin's Sea Trivia. And what we love about these is that it has the dice component. So you take turns rolling the dice, then you answer that question. And then it also has easy and hard. So when we first start our unit study and our lessons, we'll do the easy. And then by the end of this morning basket, we will start graduating to the hard and see if we can remember how much of everything and how we can handle the harder questions. Before I go, I have a whale of a joke for you. It's killer. <laughs> That's not the joke. This is. What does a whale say when it's confused? Can you be more Pacific? 